quanti applausi uh, ma quanti siete ragazzi grazie Radio Ali Blu come ci si sente dopo aver raccontato un'esperienza un'esperienza bella ci si sente bene raccontateci quell'esperienza perché a volte riviverla con un racconto a qualcuno può renderla magicamente eterna durante il giorno ascoltiamo tante parole siamo bombardati di messaggi di parole che destabilizzano il nostro stato d'animo qua a Radio Ali Blu vogliamo sentire parole belle e attendiamo le tue parole belle Radio Ali Blu la radio che ti fa volare I was fitter away from the crowd I couldn't understand why anyone why everyone had been acting so strange around me lately I am a bit nervous because of it to arrive at the house or the party I entered the doors and saw my schoolmates talking about the house they laughed and giggled as I passed them I felt the atmosphere was a happy cheery one I saw my best friend Jane standing away from the corner at the room he was wearing a scary monster mask he's always been quirky like that everyone else at the teen costume party was dressed in more tame wear waiting to be seen as cool and sexy instead of scary hey james i said to him with a sad smile but he ignored from everyone else hey he said back just as quiet his voice sounded like he was in it, it, was pained, been struggling lately with our peers at school. I wondered why he had come, came. You look cool, I said to him, with barely a whiff of smile. He nodded his head back to me. Need to look scary today, I feel scary. I nodded back in return. He turned his head at me, as if questioning something, and asked, How do you know it was me? Because you always stand out from the crowd. That's what I hate, James said sadly. He was stood, stood still for a couple of minutes, before turning his head towards the direction of the rowdy crowd. I said, everyone thinks that they're so superior. They might be doing, well, they must be doing something right, if they're fitting in. You, we're all told to be ourselves, which James whispered in hate of it all. What well, others will accept you, that's, others will accept you. But instead, you've just got to beat a pulp by the very people that are meant to be your friends. He was talking about the incident which happened a couple of days ago to him. Some of the guys in this very party I followed him home and others cheered as he lay there quivering on the ground. I'm sorry, man, I said to him. In sympathy, I felt his pain, but I never gotten his unwarranted punishment, and he just chuffed. He pushed, pulled me closer and pointed down his hand, going in his pocket. I watched the crowds around us chanting and laughing. And he showed me a silver gun. I swallowed at the sight. Well, where did you get that? I asked him quietly. He was only silent. I saw him lower his gun so slowly to his side. Go home, David, he said to me. I stepped out of it. I saw the teens from the party. So they faded in the emptiness of the abandoned building. The party had been ten years ago. I hadn't stepped in that house, this house, since that night. The last thing to disappear from the empty chilling room was my friend James. All I saw was him taking off his mask, a bloody smiling mouth and his eyes staring back at me. All that was alone in the building of the high school massacre.